Fire does is a big, huge structure of those things. That's that, so jump back. If you jump over here, and press this button. You need SpongeBob, but thank goodness this random bus stop is right here. How convenient. So jump down here, press the button. And jump up here. This can actually do this in the very beginning, but I never remember it. So. That's where the squeaky noise is. And you can jump up here and get a sack. The problem is now you've... Oh, hold on, 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 yeah, just die. Just, just die. Can I make that jump? No, I can't. Uh, I made you back where I wanted things so. Back. And let's continue this way this time. Huzzah. Ship all the way across the tops of the more places. And the giant go... Orange... Yellow, yellow, yellow arrows pointing on the ground will tell you which way to go. Why is there giant yellow arrows pointing made on top of the rooftops? That's a very good question. Don't know, and I don't try to misdirection that. I try to misdirection that, and I got nowhere. Remember that golden thing over there? Well, you can just jump back to it. I really don't know if they try to make these, like, different things like one sneakier and or something or another but you really can just do that and I don't know why I think you go on later on to that platform and supposed to be sneaky and go why don't you jump over here but you can just jump normally over there oh can I jump in there okay I can jump in here well can I make it back over here or on the screwed can I make it this one Yep, can't make that one. I was one. I was curious. I just jump back in there. Okay, I was jumped. Okay, so let's keep it going. Moving on here. Now we got the platformers. Platformers, yes, platformers. Mario games in disguise. So just go. However, the right one was in. Do this one first. And then explore them all. But I'm an idiot, so let's not. Now we have a nice little showdown area with a random dude here, doohickey. And destroyed a random doohickey and all dead now, so. One loss. And you just clap, so you just kill yourself. And you got two hits on me. Wow. And pressing buttons! Missing buttons, actually. As you can see here, all the clothes lines have SpongeBob. No, hold on, hold on here. As you can see here, as you can see, as you can. As you can. As you can see here, let's get a better look here. They have SpongeBob's clothes, Patrick's clothes, and Sandy's clothes. I, I don't know whose trench clothes that is. It's just probably just random trench clothes either that or Mr. Krabs. I don't think Mr. Krabs ever wore anything like that, so. Just made it look like something just. I don't know. Unless you get thrown at. Random giant thing with Jake. Random rocket. Rocket ship. Rocket, missile, missile. There's the word I'm looking for. Missile. Don't know why I couldn't think of the word missile. But missile. So, okay. Okay, right, we have a not only wonderfully placed object here. Uh, there. I don't know how in the world they expect you to miss this or anything. But it, it's there. Oh, ooh, thank you for landing me back on the platform. Can go and get some shiny bits here. Let's grab this one. That's 50. The other one's worth only 20, so it doesn't get my attention. Sorry. You danced, you died. And I blow this up the hundred stack here. You can jump up here. Jump. Can you jump in here? Nope, you can't. Yep, nope, you can't. So now I got a random one thing, and then two in the middle, and just jump over them, blow this thing up, and then run away. Jump back to the first building, and pretty sure you can last them from over here. One died. Really don't know how that one died. Might die in an explosion or something. It was so young. I think they're all pretty young, they're all less than they old. So, every time you kill a robot, you're killing a newborn robot. How does that make you feel? You're killing robot babies. Probably neutral, because they're robots. So, Sandy can slide down the slopes like everyone else. 
Who would have thought that? Anyways, we go down there, well, you can just jump on the trampoline and bump back up there. That's what all it does. And you can swing across the rooftops. And explode it. Was, uh, uh, this is probably the most annoying product, product, product robot placement in the game. Right here. You can't try to take time to last one, because if you do that, you're going to slowly fall off the edge. If you go ahead and just go up right up and attack it, you can't when you're in the air and last swing because you just can that's the only time you can do A and B. So you have this pretty awkward situation you have going on here. It's weird, awkward, all kinds of stuff. You can't last swing back here. Whatever. And you've got that and then you kill him, but you, it's so awkward. The best way to do it is like cool the or I just decided to see if I can take them out, but but I think the best way to get rid of just just run past him. You don't have to kill him. He's not worth the money. Miss, your eyes are blind. It's hard to dodge it, but when you do dodge it, go ahead and dodge it. You really don't want to stick around with him. He's not anyone you want at your party. And he finally somehow fixed the satellite. Makes no sense because there's nothing here, and we really didn't replace it because we didn't stick it in. But okay, and there, here we go, it just makes and forces you to change the Spongebob. And there, now you don't have to walk through the whole thing again, that's step on this, and you go a sock! Don't forget that sock. I almost did. I just walked back here and thinking, oh, let's quickly walk past here. I believe I forgot there's a sock back there. Well, good thing I remembered. Or just apparently did it. Are you ready, kids? And we're gonna have this hunter thing. We destroy this, and then destroy the robot that popped out, and then the ground breaks. And we rinse and repeat. Destroy this, destroy the robot that comes out, and the ground breaks. Destroy the robot maker, destroy the robots that come out, and then this, then rinse and repeat. Literally, this is just this all repeats over and over again. And now setting up in air. Cool! Destroy the thing! And yeah, this gets ten repetitive. This is probably the least interesting one of them all. Probably also one of the most long. It takes a long time to get going before something interesting happens. Ground breaks again. That's up here. Did I get enough off? Oh, you can see one off. I'm pretty sure you only got one off, and yet all of the things are here. Oh, no. Now you pit this before it comes down. For mega explosion combo ultra. Maybe I actually get that little timing a little bit better. Could have got a little more points with that. Anyways, you destroy this. And jump over the other one, which some seem to have floating there, but you take a little closer. Are right, actually steps. I completely missed the first one. So destroy that. And I am missing one, aren't I? Ooh, that's that good. I don't know which one I'm missing. I guess we gotta destroy all the robots before we continue on, obviously. That's how the rules of this game goes. You have to destroy all the robots! No. And I'm missing one. Dang it. Uh, am I missing one? Remember, that would be the last one, and I miss. I'm one short. That's the, that's the last one that I'm missing one. And, no, I'm missing two! Whew! That's not good then. And I can jump up back and up there. For sock! I'm not really hiding these things very well when they go fanfare. You can find a sock and another golden spatula. My controller goes happy. Gives you a free massage. 18! Almost one fifth those this game. And this was awful quick. So jump. Sorry. Jump. And then just jump from platform to flying platform. Flying platform, flying platform, and all the way to the top, we can grab your sock. Then quickly head back down. And then actually hit that way. Whee! It's like a particle effects. So downtown streets. So I'm missing. So I'm, what am I missing? I don't think there's two in the last I'll area. Open this door from the inside. Thank you, bubble buddy. Now, if you remember the one area that we still have to go, so if it feels, we have to go to the lighthouse. I'm really getting annoyed because, well, I 
think I'm missing something. I don't know where it is. Ooh, that's not good. Because I got it all my first try, and I didn't even look around for anything. Don't think there's two here. Yeah, we have to go to the Sea Needle. I don't think there's two here. My memory, if my memory serves me right, there's like one. There's one here, but I, I might be making a big deal out of nothing. Sea Needle. There's giant holes in the Sea Needle. That's a problem. I should get those fixed. Giant holes and sea needles. Ah, there you are, boy. Someone's broken the sea needle. That's horrible. The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no. But they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break the my shell. You got a deal. Never insult anyone's mother. For some reason, if you're a Sandy, you can switch. It's actually nice, but then what kind of conversation would you have? Like, I want to see SpongeBob. It's probably the conversation. And then giant hooks appear from nowhere. So you gotta head and break all the every single one. It's kind of nice if you just break the lower one, because that's the one that keeps them all up in the air. So, actually, I'm holding this thing in here. So, you just have to break the tiki's. I'm pretty sure you don't have to get all the money that's hanging out there. You just get the tiki's. That's it. So, just die. And right now, since you're not Sandy, we have to take you out by two or two minutes. We're gonna make you fall to your doom. And this hook randomly appears again! As you can see, they each have just four different corners. North, south, east, and west. There's four they have to do. Uh, this one's probably the hardest because you have to bump those. They come around the way up. Or do something with another about them in the air. Take one out, pull up with this. Can I get them shiny? No, I missed. I'm gonna just grab the neck of it. I'm gonna get it. I'm pretty sure that's the physics. physics. Up strong underwear. And also, speaking of jerkish placement with these things, more jerkish placement with these things. Hey, that guy can cause you a lot of trouble if you don't. Oh, there's none up here. Dang it. I really. No, there's one up here. Okay, yeah, I was right. There's one up here. But, where's that one I'm missing? Is that one I got that one right in the foot? Okay, just try to get the low. Get rid of the low. You can, you can hit those. The Thunder Tiki's, but then you, they you take damage. So, it's not recommended. You've got four hits, so if you really want to, you can. Just got the rest of that. Yep, fanfare tells you we're done. Go over here, and we got one last robot to defeat. And we're missing a steering wheel. Dang it. Good work, boy. And we should teleport. The so the north door is closed. Hmm. What's the time Is the south door closed? The south door is closed. Hmm. It's behind the south door. There's no way out. And the south door's way out. Nope. Hmm. It's behind the south door, I wonder. What's on the north door then, I wonder? The south door, I'm not going to be able to get to. The north door, we should be able to. Come right over here. Ah, oh, there's two in the here. Okay, I'm just, my mind's playing tricks with me then. There you go. What's up? Yep. My, 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 my adventure with me. So now I got all that. Got all the steering wheels. Do we have all the socks? Missing one? And there should be one you're missing. There's one you can't get into the very end. And I actually think with one spatula in this area, you cannot get into the very end. So it's fitting. One spatula. One Sponge thing. SpongeBob. <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was... Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. 
Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. Oh. A library card to use for, right? Right? I got you guys when I do. And it was for 20, so we're one fifth percent done with one fifth percent. One fifth done with this game. Huzzah! Let's quickly and in the next part we'll walk over to the next area here with someone supposed to be watching bubbles slowly rise at its loading screen. Yeah, so I'm so excited. Walk over, I'm not gonna give any money to Mr. Krabs because I'm pretty sure I will need it for the next area and we won't do their harm. That conversation will get over and over and over again. So, one of the of the game, and we're gonna head over to the Goo Lagoon. Goo Lagoon. Goo Lagoon. Surf, sand, and sun. Except they were underwater. How's that gonna work? Who knows? You guys, that?